Um, thanks very much for coming, everyone. Uh, we've got it here somewhere. There we go. Great. Uh, in, in our lifetimes, we've, uh, we've seen some amazing breakthroughs in technology. Uh, these breakthroughs uh, have changed our lives, uh, and, and many of them, I would, I would say, have improved our lives as well. Uh, I think when you boil these uh, technological breakthroughs down to their very essence, uh, what you find is uh, they simply represent better ways of doing things. And solar power is undoubtedly a better way uh, to generate electricity. And as we speak, uh, we're in the midst of a total paradigm shift uh, away from uh, fossil fuel-based electricity uh, generation technology, uh, which is unsustainable, uh, polluting, uh, and finite, uh, to uh, sustainable, uh, pollution-free uh, renewable energy. So it's a, it's a really big breakthrough. Uh, it's an absolute, uh, absolute game changer. Uh, I'm sure you'd agree that the, the technical contrast between these two ways of generating uh, electricity is absolutely stark, um, as is the environmental contrast. Uh, but what's interesting uh, now is we've reached a, a point in our history where uh, the economic and the financial contrast between these two uh, energy or electricity generation technologies uh, is also most noteworthy. So uh, for the first time uh, ever, or within the last uh, year or two, uh, solar power is now cheaper than uh, coal-based uh, retail electricity. Uh, so it's absolutely a tipping point. Uh, in a commercial context as well, uh, solar power projects can be delivered at no upfront capital cost um, using traditional equipment finance, but applied innovatively to the clean energy uh, asset class. Uh, and uh, these projects can also be structured to be cash flow positive uh, from day one. Uh, so no capital spent by the client. Uh, energy cost savings uh, delivered by the project can be uh, greater than the cost of the finance repayments. Uh, so I'll, I'll demonstrate that concept with a case study as well. Um, but just briefly, why solar power is so feasible uh, today? Essentially, looking at the, uh, the graph on the left here, two main reasons. Um, the falling cost of the technology itself, uh, which is the, the blue bars. Uh, so just in the last five years, uh, solar technology has come down by 80%. Uh, and rising electricity prices, which is the red line. Um, so you know, the greater the difference between electricity prices as they go up and the price of uh, solar technology as it comes down um, creates this new paradigm of feasibility in relation to solar power. Um, the graph on the right is, is uh, what we've modelled as, as the, the tipping point uh, when we were first able to uh, structure um, uh, financed commercial solar projects to be cash flow positive um, from day one, which is a couple of years ago. So low, historically low interest rates um, have, have obviously helped that scenario, um, along with the falling cost of the technology and rising electricity prices. Uh, so that brings me to the case study, uh, which is uh, an um, energy saving project, a comprehensive energy saving project that my company, Autonomous Energy, delivered uh, at Cole Crawford Lifestyle Cars. Most of you probably know Cole Crawford. Uh, it's a really big car dealership. You can get pretty much any brand of car in the world that you want there. Um, they're down on, on Pittwater Road. Uh, it's a third generation family owned uh, business. Cole Crawford started in, in the 50s, I believe. Uh, and Steve Crawford, uh, his son, runs it today. Uh, and Steve's, uh, a few, I think three of his sons work in the business as well. So, so three, three generations involved uh, there. And uh, on the, the photo on the left-hand side is a satellite image, and that, that shows you the scale of the, the solar project. So it's exactly 1,000 solar panels, uh, which is 260 kilowatts uh, in total. Uh, and nearly half of that is installed uh, as solar car park shading. Uh, and you can see a photo um, on the right-hand side of the screen there. Um, that's a, a new technology, a new way of, of installing solar power that Autonomous Energy is pioneering in Australia. Uh, we also uh, changed all their, all their lights. Um, so we pulled out all the light fittings and put in new energy-efficient uh, LED luminaires or light fixtures. Um, so nearly 1,000 of them as well. Uh, here's some photos uh, from the project. Uh, you can see the, the solar installation at the top there. Uh, in the middle at the top are the solar inverters. Uh, so they're, they're like the brains of the solar power system, if you like. 
um, that's where all the uh, energy is, is inverted from d solar DC into the type of electricity that we use in our buildings, AC, um, three phase, all the data monitoring equipment is in those inverters as well. Um, that's how we monitor the performance of the system uh, remotely. And you can see uh, some photos of the lighting upgrade uh, at the bottom there as well. So um, I just wanted to put as simply as I could the, the business case and, and this concept of uh, cash flow positive projects uh, to you. So uh, these numbers are for the Cole Crawford um, uh, project. Uh, BAU in red is business as usual. So that's their annual electricity bill uh, before we got involved and delivered the project. Uh, once we delivered the project, that's their electricity bill uh, after the project. So as you can see, it's a, it's a really uh, deep uh, cut to their electricity consumption. Um, the, the reduction in pollution um, is, is roughly proportionate to this as well. Uh, so this project was delivered um, at no, front, uh, no upfront capital cost to the client. Um, the whole thing was financed through the, our partners at the Clean Energy Finance Corporation and Commonwealth Bank. So the annual repayments are blue, and uh, so what you have left over is net savings. So um, net, net positive cash flow uh, from year one onwards uh, in this project. So this, is the, this graph is a cumulative, uh, cumulative savings. Uh, it's a seven year finance term, so you can see at the end of seven years, uh, the savings really pick up, um, but obviously it's, it's in the black uh, from day one. Um, the net present value of the project, uh, which is a way of sort of understanding what the, the value of the project is over uh, in, today's, uh, in today's money, uh, uh, over its lifetime, is $2 million. Um, cumulative net savings over 20 years of, of nearly $4 million. Um, but importantly, the, the net savings in year one were $35,000. So it's, a, I think, a very impressive um, result. And uh, the, the client's happy, uh, happy with the project, happy with the, the, the service that we provided uh, and, and with the, uh, the finance arrangement as well. But I like what, um, what Steve Crawford said. He's a very direct kind of person. Um, his words are that it was a phenomenal business case and essentially it was a no-brainer. <laughs> wow, well, there you go. Need some solar panels. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, so just briefly, um, there's basically three different ways that you can, um, that you can, it's ironic, isn't it? Um, three different ways that you can uh, deploy um, commercial uh, solar projects um, from a financial um, point of view, which is obviously the focus of the case study, mainly looking at the financial side. Um, you can invest your capital um, yourself, which is um, capital purchase or CapEx, um, which obviously it doesn't require any further explanation. Um, you can use asset finance, um, which you know, is, is what happened in this, uh, in this case study. Um, you, there's also things called power purchase agreements um, or PPAs. Um, there, there are quite a, quite a number of companies um, and, and some large companies um, touting PPAs at the moment. Um, so PPA, essentially, you don't own the system. Um, someone else uh, owns it uh, forever and you just buy the electricity off them. Um, you know, rather than sort of enjoying the, the benefits of owning the system uh, and getting the return on investment yourself. So we would um, suggest that the first two are very valid, very good ways uh, to, um, to take up solar and energy efficiency, um, but really whatever way you analyse it, um, power purchase agreements aren't actually a very good deal uh, for the client. Um, sort of like renting a, renting a house forever instead of owning, owning a house and enjoying it. The um, appreciation of value. Um, these are some of the companies that we've uh, partnered with uh, recently, just some examples um, on their journey towards sustainability. And uh, just in conclusion, before Patrick drags me off the stage, um, so my company, Autonomous Energy, was started in 2003. Um, we're a local business. Our head office uh, is in French's Forest, uh, just up the road here. Uh, our focus is on delivering turnkey energy saving projects. And um, yeah, we've got a wealth of experience and expertise and we're really uh, keen to, to speak to anyone who has any thoughts or, or interest in energy saving projects. Um, please come and have a chat to me or my colleagues or get in touch with us. Thanks very much.